Welcome to another MakeMoreNoise.org screencast. Uh, in this quick screencast, I'm just going to show you how to use Logic's built-in arpeggiator. So the first thing we need to do after we've loaded up our blank session is create a software instrument track. On that track, we're just going to load up one of Logic's built-in instruments. Uh, we'll go for ES2 in stereo in this case. And we'll select a sound with a bit of a tack to it. So let's go for one of the leads. Um, I don't know what Everlasting sounds like. It might have a bit too much sustain, actually, thinking about it. Okay, just going to turn that down a little bit. Okay, that's interesting. We'll give it a go with that. Okay, so we've got our synth track in the Arrange window. Our next move is to go to the Window menu and open the environment, which is the shortcut Apple 8, or as I said, selectable under the Window menu. OK, so we've got our environment here. We can see the ES2 track we've just created. And then we've got the new menu here at the top. So we select New and load an arpeggiator. And then we physically drag from here in the top right hand corner and we get a cable. Now we need to take this cable and connect it to the instrument track. And you can actually see the cable running from the arpeggiator object to the instrument track. OK, we've still got a little bit more to do before we can actually play the arpeggiator, but we don't need the environment window anymore, so we'll just shut that now. And we'll create another track. It doesn't actually matter what type of track it is because we're going to reassign it in a second, so we'll just create an audio track for now. And then if you right-click, reassign track object, and look under your mixer, you can see we've got our arpeggiator object here. OK, so now selected to the arpeggiator object, and we're playing our keyboard, as you can see by the MIDI activity down here, we still get no sound. Go back to our actual patch. OK, that's playing fine. So, what we need to do is select the arpeggiator track, and then actually have Logic playing, and then we can start arpeggiating. So that's the basic things to remember is you need to be selected to the arpeggiator track and Logic needs to be playing for you to hear the arpeggio. Now if you look here in the right hand side of your screen you can see you've actually got some additional controls for your arpeggiator so resolution, length, snap, how many octaves it covers. So just to give you a very quick idea this is one of those things that's worth experimenting with yourself but we'll just take the octaves up to 3, take the resolution up to 16 and the length up to sixteenths as well and just have a listen to what we've done there in addition you've got the direction which up, down, up and down, auto, random so let's just select random and we'll take the resolution down to quarter notes That's while leaving the length at 16th, so if we do resolution of 8 and length of 8, we'll be back where we started. And that's how to use Logic's built-in arpeggiator. Thank you for watching this MakeMoreNoise.org screencast on Logic's arpeggiator.